Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and today we are taking a look at how to make cheese using the Placeable Factories by E.R. Shaba. Now these are the Placeable Factories that are available on ModHub to everybody on all platforms. Um, I'm highlighting these because as a console player, it's really, really awesome to have these as a way to kind of prepare for FS22. We know production chains are coming to FS22, and these right here... I think you're going to operate really, really similarly. Um, what you have to do is you have to take milk from your cows, which we have right over there. And as you can see, I've been able to have these cow pastures over here without any issues using this factory. So I know there was a little bit of an issue where if you were using these with animals before, they didn't really work well. But I haven't had any problems at all. I mean, my cows produce plenty of milk for me, manure, slurry, everything's over there as it should be. And these factories, they're working fine. And I don't know if you can see, I'll show you over here. I've got other ones placed around too, doing this testing, and they're all functioning perfectly fine also. So I think I think all the bugs have been worked out. But what do we need to do first? Well, first what you're going to do is come right here, and you're going to choose either, you know, if you want one or two of these. And what that does, that tells you, or that allows you to choose production level one or production level two. So in the uh, images that we're going to show you here in a little bit, I've got that all separated out into production level one and two. So if you only want to run one of these, only bring one over. And if you want two, bring two. Now, if you want three, it's not going to let you. Once you get done with this and you bring over how many you want, you hit square to confirm, and then you are good to go. So what are you going to do next? Well, you actually have to put your product into the containers uh, where it belongs. And first, we're going to see right here, this is milk. All right, we've got a big tanker right here. Um, you can use any size tanker as long as it um, allows you to store milk inside it and then bring it over here and dump it off. And you may be wondering, well, how much milk can I put in here? In production level one, you're going to be able to fill this with 120,000 liters of milk. Production level two, it's going to be 240,000 liters. Now, you do not need to fill it completely full before it starts working. As soon as you start putting product into this, it will begin processing and start making cheese for you. Next, what we have right here. This is going to be diesel or biodiesel, either one you want to use. Now, if you want to use this as a production chain, you can use the biodiesel that you make in the biodiesel factory. That's also available here in this pack. Um, it's not the most profitable way of doing it because your diesel biodiesel sells for a lot more than you can buy diesel for. Um, but if you want to use it in that manner and have that play style, absolutely go for it. Um, it, it's really, really cool to be able to produce your biodiesel over there and then come over here and use it in these facilities. Um, but if you need the space for other factories, you can use regular diesel. And we'll look at the value on that here in a little bit. But how much is this going to store? Well, this right here is going to store 12,000 liters of diesel or biodiesel on production level one. And for production level two, it's going to be 24,000 liters. So next, let's come over here and take a look at more of the details of, you know, how much product you need how much is going to be used per day, you know, uh, what your values and things like that are. But first thing you're going to see is we have 12 pallets sitting here right now. And this is going to be 30,000 liters of product. So if you let this thing run and you have enough product over on the other sides, it will produce 30,000 liters before it starts, you know, giving you the uh, message that it's full and you have no more room. All right. So that is production level one and two. They're both the exact same. So how long does it take to produce 30,000 liters of cheese? Well, on production level one, it's 4.96 days. And what that means is it's four days and 23 hours. How much is that in production per day? So what we do is you take the total amount of 30,000 and divide it by the time, and that's gonna give you 6,048 liters a day. All right, pretty nice. And that's on production level one. Production level two, it takes 2.63 days to be able to produce produce 30,000 liters, and that's going to be 11,407 liters per day. Now, you may be wondering, well, how much diesel does that use? Okay, well, production level one, total diesel to produce 30,000 liters is 2,975. That's not that much. It comes out to 600 liters per day. That's pretty, pretty cheap, pretty cheap investment right there. Production level two, 4,226 liters, and that equals to 1,607 per day on production level two. So a little bit more per day um, and total also, it's not it's not too bad. Sometimes we see it as double. This one's not quite double, but it's, um, it's, it's still really, really low compared to some of the other ones. So how much milk 
are you going to need to supply this factory to be able to produce total 30,000 liters? Well, it's 29,750 liters, and that comes out to 5,998, roughly 6,000 liters per day, all right, on production level one. Production level two, it's 42,000 liters, and that comes out to 15,970 liters per day. So what is the average sell price of cheese? Well, it's $2,633. The way I got that, I looked at the pricing menu, saw all the different places that were selling or buying cheese, added them all together and divided by the number. So this is the average of every one of them. Now, some of them are higher and some of them were lower. So, you know, just like with any other crop that you're selling, pay attention to where you're getting the best price at. Um, know that this is an average price. I don't know if this is a good average or a bad average. I'm just looking at it at this one timestamp right now. Um, it could be higher. I absolutely could be higher. Um, and what does that total value give you? Or what is your total value? It's $78,990. Now we all know that there's costs associated with this because you have your diesel that you need to buy. So if you're using straight diesel, okay, your cost of that is $1.25 per liter. Okay, so your total diesel cost on production level one is $3,719. Production level two, it's $5,283. That's not a lot of cost to be able to make this. Now, we all know that to be able to have the cows, you need to make the TMR, you need to be able to have, um, you know, straw, different things like that. But if you're not having to buy any of those things over there and you're using all the crops that you harvest, it's really only your time and some seed and fertilizer. I'm not looking at all those costs right there. I'm just looking at this right here. The diesel is the one thing that you have to buy to be able to make this operation here work. So let's take a look at what your profit is. So if you're using your own milk from your cows that you have on your property, production level one, it's $75,271 total profit. Now that's not looking at differences between anything else. That's just how much money is going to go in your pocket if you sell this 30,000 liters at the average sell price. Production level two, it's $73,708. Okay. Per day, how much is that? Well, you're going to make about $15,176 a day on production level one or $28,026 on production level two. That's a really, really good price. Now you may be asking, well, yeah, but I can just sell my milk right? I could just sell the milk straight out and not even have to worry about coming over here. Well, let me show you those values. Average milk sell price is 1,248. So your total milk sell value on the amount of milk that it takes to put into this factory for production level one is $37,128. Okay. So we know that we made more money than that on selling all this cheese, but we're going to look at that here in a second. Production level two, if you were to sell the milk outright that it takes to produce 30,000 liters of cheese, um, of your milk, it would be $52,416. All right. So what's the difference? Your profit difference on production level one is $38,143. So you're going to make more money by doing this, um, over the full, almost five days. All right. Production level two, it's $21,292 difference. So you're still going to make more money. Okay. And that's over almost three days, right? So profit difference per day between selling your milk and actually bringing it over here and running it through this process is going to be 7,690 for production level one or 8,096 for production level two. So it may not be worth it to you to bring your product over here, wait around an extra day to be able to make an extra $8,000 or it could be. Um, I think it's really, really awesome that these are here. You know, it adds another element to the gameplay. Um, we know that this is going to be more profitable to do it, but you're not going to have the immediate payoff. So it's almost like an investment, right? You're bringing your product over, you're putting it like in a bank, letting it earn some interest, and then collect it the next day and go sell it, right? That's the way I'm looking at this. Um, this is not one that you're going to lose money on. Um, the only way you could lose money is maybe technically if you wanted to use your biodiesel, right? Because you know that you're going to make money on that more than what you can buy diesel for. Um, but your milk, definitely not. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a really, really awesome way that I see to be able to enhance your gameplay, prepare for FS22 and uh, make a little bit more money. So what do you do with your cheese? Well, you sell it or you can store it if you want to. 
And the best way that I've found is this guy right here. Now, this is the uh, Tatra Phoenix right here. But what I meant is this guy, the auto load IT runner uh, pallet deck right here. It's really, really cool. As you can see, your pallets go on there. And then you're able to take them and transport them a lot easier than having to get a front loader or a front um, uh, pallet forks and be able to do that. So all you have to do is just pull up next to it and it automatically starts loading. It's really, really cool. Um, ER Shaba is the one that developed these also. Um, they work on all the maps that I've been able to um, use them on. Which is, um, you know, one thing about maps also is to be able to use these production packs, you really need to make sure that the description of your map says that it is compatible with this mod okay or within the mod itself it tells you some maps that you can go use now if i want to store these i can bring them right over here now this is another warehouse that is by er shaba and what you're going to do is just pull right here and as you can see it's unloading really really awesome um, you can see over there on the uh, the rack itself, you've got cheese listed or shown back there. So it is going to store it here for you. You come back later, you pick it up in the white squares, and then you are good to go. Um, you can also take this around to any of the other cell points. Just be careful that what you have to do is actually elevate these off the ground to be able to get them to unload. Um, by being up on this pallet uh, deck right here like it is, it already knows that it's in the air, and then it just starts unloading. Um, each one of these is 2,500 liters. So, yeah. Um, but that's that's everything, everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all the latest production chains or placeable factories videos that I have here on the channel, uh, we have a bunch more already made, and we're going to be doing some more also. And here in a couple of weeks, I'm going to start doing a, um, a Let's Play series using these production facilities. So really, really excited about getting into that. So if you want to see that, definitely, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. That way you know when any of my new videos come out. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.